Release their daily injury report. It's news when quarterback Steve McNair is not on the list. This week he's listed as questionable with back spasms. He didn't practice Friday, but does expect to play tomorrow. Now the news is not as good for TJ Hushmanzada. Cincinnati's second leading receiver didn't practice all week with a bruised hand and is listed as doubtful. The Bengals are a three point favorite in the Music City. Here's Joe Daneman with your Saturday scoop on Sunday's game. It seemed like a low point, but looking back a year later, it might have been a turning point. Since a loss at Tennessee, the Bengals have won 10 of their last 14 games and are tops in the AFC North this season at 4-1. Four 4-1 and one. Four and one is not satisfying. We have lost around here for 14, 13 years. And if you want to find a negative about what I said about one loss because I don't want to lose and you're going to complain about me complaining about us losing, is very backwards. But backwards is the direction the Bengals have gone too many times this season. Cincinnati leads the league with 57 penalties in five games. It's cost them more than 440 yards of offense and two nullified touchdowns. Cut the penalties down to zero. So that's our main focus, man. We've been talking about it all week, trying to you know eliminate it in practice so it won't happen in the game. The heart and soul of the Tennessee Titans is quarterback Steve McNair. After missing eight games last season, Air McNair is back and on pace for career highs in passing yards and touchdowns. He's very tough. He's very hard to tackle and bring down. And, you know, him and, uh, uh, you know, he's just tremendous what he does. So, he, you know, he answers the bell just about every week. He's, uh, he's been uh, played for a long time and, and played very, very high level. After giving up 180 yards on the ground Sunday night, the Bengals' rush defense fell to 23rd in the NFL. Tennessee running back Chris Brown rushed 32 times for 147 yards in his only game against Cincinnati. He's running that thing. He's, he looks good. He's quick. Or he's fast. He's, he makes good quick cuts. and. You know, he's, he's a heck of a running back. The Titans defense gives up yards and points, but they can make plays in their opponent's backfield. Kyle Vandenbosch is tied for the league lead with six sacks. The team is third in the league with 17. Tennessee, they're not feeling sorry for us, you know, and they won last week, so they want to get something going. But at the same time, we want to we want to go on another uh, win streak, and it starts this week with Tennessee. From Paul Brown Stadium, Joe Daneman, Fox 19 Sports. Joe, well done. Brian Giesenslaw is with the Bengals in Nashville, and we'll have all the angles covered tomorrow night on The Wrap. Plus, the entertainer, number 85, will join us for another edition of Chad's.